An award-winning author and infamous bank robber has died. Stephen Reed was 68. Reed was a member of the notorious Stopwatch Gang. He passed away this week on Haida Gwaii, 19 years after his last heist, a botched robbery in Cook Street Village that ended in a shootout. CTV's Chandler Grieve now on Reed's complicated and polarizing legacy. He's in the building. For those that were there, it's a day they will never forget. A call came in of a, a bank robbery down on Cook Street, Lower Cook Street. So I was one of the first customers in the bank. Stephen Reed's botched robbery in 1999 and the broad daylight shootout that would follow with police lives in Victoria infamy. I end up exchanging fire with, uh, turned out to be Stephen Reed. And I realized who the robber was and I was familiar with his story. It was like brutal. For the former member of the famed Stopwatch gang responsible for more than 100 robberies in the 70s and 80s, the Cook Street robbery marked a sad relapse. But I was butchered on, on cocaine. I, at first time I discovered injecting cocaine, and I was in a cocaine psychosis. Reed would leave behind a young family serving 15 years in prison for armed robbery and attempted murder. While serving time, he wrote a crowbar in the Buddhist garden, a personal memoir that would win a literary award. He was granted day parole in 2014 and sat down for this interview. I would hope, I guess, that angry people would say, um, well, there goes a guy who's, who's, who's done his time. After serving his sentence, he moved to Haida Gwaii to live with his wife and fellow Canadian author Susan Musgrave. I hope that the no next novel I'm writing is set in Victoria. It's a bank robber, gets out of prison, uh, trying to get a play for, you know, I don't know, where do these ideas come from? Some will remember Reed as a troubled but brilliant artist. Others will struggle to forget a criminal who turned a quiet summer's day in Victoria into a terrifying crime scene. He had a shot off shotgun gun that went, you know, like he did that action like you see in a Western. Pure luck, I think, that, that no one was injured, no citizens or police officers were injured or killed. Reed died from complications with pneumonia and heart failure. He was 68. Chandler Grieve, CTV News.